Hello and welcome back to my review of Scowl 2. On this review I would like to look at some of the new things that Scowl has done with fonts. Scowl has always been really well known as um, a very user-friendly piece of software that is incredibly good with fonts and they've continued in that tradition. Um, so I like to have my arrangement kind of this way uh, and I'm just going to type in a couple of words. Uh, let's do my name. Nothing fancy. There we go. So my name is one unit right now. And usually with Scout, I like to have all of my stuff welded together and cut out in one piece. So I'm going to click on Weld. And in Scout 1, you would usually have to go back and nudge each individual letter back into place so that they touch and overlap. Scout 2, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. If I try to click on each individual letter, it's not letting me do anything yet. I can use the very simple tool over here in the properties box called tracking. And if I decrease the tracking, it will squash my letters for me. And as I can see, most of them are going to be great if I do it that way. However, sometimes with some of these more vertical letters, that doesn't work so well. So let's take the tracking off, back up to 100 and I want to manually move each of those letters. Right now they're in a group. So they're moving together as a group and we need to take that apart. So we're going to click on Object, Ungroup. And now I can physically move each individual letter to exactly where I want it. That's a great feature, so I can do it either way. So let's take a look at this if I were to weld it and cut this out. Make sure my weld is on. Ah, so I need to make sure it's all welded. So another great new feature of Scale 2 is you can draw an imaginary box around something to select all. Um, and that is like a graphics kind of program thing that they do. Um, and I think it's a really great um, thing to add on to Scale 2. Couldn't do it in Scale 1. So just drawing an imaginary box, it will select everything, and I'm going to click on Weld. Let's take a look and see how this would cut. Looks good. Now if I wanted to move everything, because I've ungrouped it, um, I would have to move each one at a time, right? Not with Scale 2. I can draw that imaginary box around it and move all of it together. Or I can put it back into a grouping. So now if I click away and come back, it's still one piece. So that's a really super improvement, I think, on uh, the Scal software. Another great improvement in Scal 2 is the ease in which you can manipulate your fonts a little bit more. So I'm going to just shrink that down and leave it over on the side for now and type in a new word. I'll put my middle name. There we go. So, um, I like it, it's cute, but not a big fan of Arial. If I go over here into the properties box, I can change my fonts very easily now. So I have typed in my font onto my mat, but I don't like it. So let's change it. Oh, very cute. And maybe I really like this font. There's this little heart with the plus. This is a favorites button. So I have a little over 3,000 fonts and dingbats on my computer. Sometimes a little bit hard to remember what I like. I like this one. I'm going to click on my favorites button. But maybe not for this project, so I'm going to scroll down and see what else I can find. Um, big Chump, he's kind of neat. I like him too. Let's add him into my favorites. And maybe I want to use this one. Well, I'm going to squish him together with the tracking because so it looks like it'll work well weld it together and slide it on up underneath my first part of my name. Ah, that'll be really cute. Let's take a look and see how that'll cut. Awesome. So now if I want to put everything together into one group and move it all around, I can draw that imaginary box, object, group, move it around, change up the size. Wow, an awesome improvement. The only drawback of this is now that I can't, that I've grouped it all together, I can't go back into my properties box and change the font.
but uh, I really need improvement there too. Let's add one more line and I've got a little text tool up there in the top left corner. It's like a little quick select. So I can click on that and over here I want to view, this time not all, some of my favorites, my favorite fonts. And then the pull down menu will just give me my favorites. So going back to that one I liked a few minutes ago and I'm going to type in the word cricket. Oh my goodness, you'd think I could spell today. Very cute. So there he is, and I'm going to click to my selection tool, make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to squash it together with the tracking because I do like that feature. I have a little gap in here so I can edit object ungroup, select him. Actually, I can select part of that word and just slide it over a little bit. Still using, um, as in scale one, you could use your arrow keys for this. So uh, scale two continues that tradition. And then I'm going to group that back together. Make sure it's welded. And I'm going to lose that top of that eye, but that's okay. Let's increase that size a little bit. I'm going to lose my teeth. There we go. Let's take a look. Oh, wonderful. So uh, that's a little bit of the font capability and the font changes on Scale 2. Uh, again, I think it's a really great improvement to an already great software, and I hope you can visit my blog. Thank you.